But they weren't out of woods yet. For now, the crack of the ice cut up to the aversion car and disappeared underneath. Steamer threw a glance at the, pres the pressure ga grudge. I'm losing pressure, he yelled hysterically. I need more steam. Smoky, more steam. Now the train was halfway to the tracks of wood to go save them, but on top of the train, the girl looked back. Oh no, she wailed. Beneath the diversion, the ice was cramming and crumbling apart. The car was dangling to the coupler, its wheels helplessly bouncing on the ice flows. It got worse. A jagged ice gash raced on, raced on the train, head on the engine. In second, it reached to the track. The ice is sparrowing the train. It ruptured and cracked. The conductor dropped the, the, the car dropped flat on the roof of the cab. Brace yourself, he warned. The Polar Express crashed through the ice, but it dropped only three feet right out to the tracks. In th in the water below, the ice and ice, the water gushed into the air. A giant steam cloud engulfed as the locomotive into from the freezing winter hit the red hot boiler. The rain, the train. He blasted out of the water and to the trestle, screaming and between the narrow whales of an ice canyon. And spreading across the vest, bearing, tur bearing tundra, and finally slamming through a switch and out to the main line. The, rim, uh, the rhythm of the rails resumed through the mellow tempo. The boy and girl shared a long look. What a ride!